The final three victims from Sandy Hook Elementary School buried today. The National Rifle Association has come out to say that the real problem isn't guns, but instead violent video games. So we wanted to know, is there really a connection between virtual violence and real world violence? ABC's Neil Karlinski got some answers. Thomas Pantig and Stephen Lloyd are typical of many in their generation. Good jobs by day, obsessed with a violent so-called first-person shooter called Call of Duty when they get home. But is this just good fun or is an entire generation being trained and desensitized to the act of shooting people? And just some people just go crazy. Dr. Chris Ferguson has conducted a series of multi-year studies of 11 to 18 year olds to find out what violent games do to them. There's no evidence to suggest that exposure to violent video games uh, is associated with violent criminal behavior. But Dr. Victor Strasberger says today's video games are more real, more intense than anything that's come before. Kids spend an incredible amount of time with the media. They see increasingly violent media. Why in this country would we spend $250 billion a year on advertising if we didn't think advertising affected people? So whose research to believe? Who to judge? The U.S. Supreme Court already has. In striking down California's attempt at a violent video game law, the court had this to say. These studies have been rejected by every court to consider them, and with good reason. They do not prove that violent video games cause minors to act aggressively. Bonnie Ross, a mother of two young children with her own concerns, also happens to run one of the most successful first-person shooter games around, Halo 4. What do you say to parents who worry it's, just, it's too violent, it's not good for the kids? What I recommend is your kids are going to play games. Play it with them, you know, so that you can really be there to answer questions and, and help them through that. Advice from an insider, whether you like it or not, kids are playing these games and it's up to the parents to understand them. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.